Welcome to my blog about bases. Congratulations, you're here. This is the very first one. <laughs> it's the net custom base. Of course, most of you all know I'm making bases. And that's the gist of what this uh, whole you know blog will be about. I'll do a just little uh, videos whenever I think I've got something to tell you, whether it's about a new base I'm making or an old base or a base I've taken apart or just, you know, things I've been doing with bases. I've been playing and teaching the bass for over 50 years now. Started when I was young. My father owned a music store and I've had most of every bass in the world at one time in my life. And I've recently just been getting into these uh, new bases I've been making. They're just beautiful. Um, I'm not going to do any playing per se, maybe a little bit on this here, you know, on this website, but you need to go over to my uh, Real Bass Lessons website and you'll see audio demos of all of them. I just put up a demo of this bass and this is one gorgeous axe here. Check it out, huh? Look at that neck wood. Is that cool or what? Sure. Let me tell you a little bit about the specs here. This beautiful kind of wood is um, black corina. And this is a chamber body. So the back solid piece is black corina. And then the top, a little thin layer is glued on it. But in that solid back piece, that body, there's a whole bunch of small holes, a little bit bigger than my finger, about the size of my thumb, that are drilled all over the place in here. It's like honeycomb-like. I have other bases that have chambers in them, but none of them quite like the chambers that are made in this one. And this is not an acoustic bass at all, although you can hear and feel the vibration of the wood real big. Those, those chambers that are drilled in there are just to make the wood vibrate some more. And it does. There's a real sensitivity of vibration in this. And this wood is just gorgeous, huh? This one happens to be a, a single piece top, uh, black corina, and the finish is just this uh, black to uh, red to gold burst on it. It's just gorgeous. The fingerboard on this one is real unique. It's called Zero Coat, figured Zero Coat. Maybe I'll put up a couple of pictures to go along with this here when, uh, when we're through here, real close up so you can see them, okay? And then this back neck wood, love this wood. This is uh, Goncalo Alves, and it's uh, a quarter sawn. So you see that big wide grain, like in the headstock here. When wood is normally sawn, it's sawn against the grain, so you just see the little slices. This is sawn with it, quarter sawn, and it makes it a little stronger, plus it produces that wide grain. On all my bases, I use these uh, lollipop tuners. I like these. I use two different brands. This base here has uh, hip shots on it. By the way, I'm going to forget to answer all the details about everything, so I invite you to ask questions, okay? No arguments, please, because uh, uh, this is my vlog, not yours, but... You know, and everybody, by the way, everybody likes what they like. I know that. That's fine. So I'm not trying to convince you. But don't hesitate to ask questions if you want to know my information, okay? So those are the tuners. I use in all the bases I build, uh, Nordstrom pickups. Absolutely love them. I know there's a lot of other great ones out there. Like I said, I don't need convincing, but I just use the Nordstrom. These are the, what's it called? N, NP4? Sure. Uh, Precision 4, they're just the standard ones. While there's a bunch of other models of these, I use them on other bases. This one I just put the standard ones. And it tends to make the bass sound just, I don't know, it's just real warm and real smooth. I like that a lot. Uh, the strings are Kurt Mangan. I use those exclusively too. And a lot of people ask about that. Jim, don't you worry about using the uh, uh, round wound strings on the, on, the, on the fretless fingerboard? No, I don't. We just play them. If they wear out, we play it off and go again. You know, nothing wrong with flat wounds, and I've got those on other bases and stuff too, but I like the sound on this base particularly, these round wounds, so I use those. Uh, bridge is nothing fancy, just a fenderish bridge. I prefer these to the high mass ones. And the electronics are quite special. They're made by a company, company named uh, Richter in Germany. It's real hard to get them, but they're wonderful. They're, uh, there's no electronics, but they're just real cool. And of course, little nice little uh, fancy turned wood knobs on this one. Just a wonderful feel and playing bass. Oh, the little lines in the fingerboard, they're made out of a, a maple. I like that feeling. And again, I encourage you to go check out the audio of this. It's really, really cool. So that's the gist of what I'm going to be doing here. And this is the first bass I thought I'd show you. Um, my idea is to just simply share with you some of the things I've learned from 50 years of uh, doing bass. When I was 12 years old, my father opened a music store in a little small town in Oregon, and I was the repair guy. <laughs> I knew very little bit about it, but I learned from him and learned from experience. So I've been putting on necks and changing tuners and pickups and refinishing bases. Oh, like I said, I'm 63 now, so that's over 50 years. <laughs> it's fun. I love it. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Like I said, I'll hopefully answer some. And I'm not sure when I'll, uh, how often I'll do these vlogs, but I work on bases every day and every night. Have fun doing that. So there'll be plenty of them, okay? Fired up. Hope, glad you're with me and uh, hope you enjoy some of this. Cool.